Hi, my name is Deborah Landry, and today I'm going to teach you how to um, make these little ladybugs. Um, and the process is called uh, needle felting. And um, we're going to use uh, roving. And um, the tools that you're going to need is a styrofoam um, little box here to um, do the needle, the needle felting and you're going to need some kind of uh, needles and the needles are um, they come in different shapes and sizes and this one here is a, a travel one that has a, a lid for safety and this one here has a, um, a, a, a retractable safety guard and this one here just has a little um, rubberized tip to it and this is a replacement for one of these um, the handle ones and if um, if you can see like really close to this here you might be able to see um, the needles are extremely sharp and they have little barbs on them and the barbs um, are sharper than a, a fish hook so you want to be really careful um, not to poke yourself with this and the barbs um, go down and so when you are um, when you're felting the barbs go into the wool and push the wool and felt the uh, the roving so as you're pushing this down um, the resistance is when you go down and it's pushing it down and then it comes up very easy so you can um, uh, make any kind of uh, adjustment and as you're as you're felting the um, it, it's compressing the roving and weaving the roving um, as you're uh, punching it in so you're going to need um, at least one of the needles you do not have to um, have a full investment of all of these the needles come in different gauges and uh, what you're going to want to do is probably just do some experimenting as to how hard you um, do your uh, punching as to um, if you want fine, medium, or um, heavy duty needles. Um, the needles will break so um, if you you do not want to um, approach it and do any bending because the needles are very fragile here at the tip and they'll just break off. So. The project again, as we're um, we're going to be creating a ladybug, and the f uh, the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your roving, and this is what the roving looks like. So you've got um, today's project is we're using a little bit of um, brown with a slight little gray to it, and some um, pink orange, and you're going to want some just a little bit of green. So um, for the pink orange, you're going to want probably about four feet of the roving and um, probably just a, um, only about six inches of the brown and maybe about three inches of the green to be able to do this project. The first thing that you're going to, um, that you're going to do is you're going to take your roving, your pink roving, and you're going to roll the pink roving up into a little um, oval and you want to get your uh, pink roving as tight as possible and the tighter that you make it the easier it is and the less punching that you have to do so you're going to put this into the shape create the shape that you want and it's going to look lo something like this and it's nice and fluffy and you're going to um, start needle punching this and as you go like you're going to just needle punch this and get it into the shape that you want and as you're needle punching it it's going to get smaller and smaller you're going to be working on your styrofoam to um, uh, keep your um, your needle safe so the what the styrofoam does is it allows you to be able to hit into the um, foam and not bust off your needles so you're going to do this until you get your project into a shape that looks something like this. 
and this is what you're looking for and um, you just keep on working it until um, until you get it to this shape generally this will take about five minutes here alright so once you get it into the shape that you're looking for then what we're going to do is we're going to create the little um, the head portion of this and you're going to take your brown and you're going to tear off some of your brown and you're going to make um, a little circle on your styrofoam and you're just going to needle punch that and you can see how quickly it felt and you're going to turn it over and once you have this into the shape that you want then you're going to attach that to your ladybug form to the body so you're going to needle punch that right to the right to your um, the body of your ladybug Uh, it doesn't take long to get that on there and you can see how um, I'm moving it around and getting all of the areas covered and uh, punching this in in here So I have this on here and it's all attached and I've got the little um, ladybug head done here and the very next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your brown and you're going to split that up and make it into a long piece and the easiest way to do this is um, just to roll it in your hands to get it into a, um, into a strip and then you're going to put that onto your body um, uh, into the center of the body now I'm going to take a smaller um, just a single piece this one had um, multiple pieces I'm going to take a single one and just attach this line to here and the reason I'm using a single one is because um, just of the small area that I'm trying to um, needle felt you can th right here you can see how it's compressing down and um, the more you use the needle the smaller the um, the felted design is going to be so just keep on felting and punching it with the needle and it's going to uh, get a lot smaller so I'm just going to fix that to the head blend it in so that you can can't see it so it just all looks like one piece. I'm also, um, as you're working with the um, with the material, every time you punch, um, do the punching, then it also um, misshapens the um, your project. So you want to go in there and um, and fix that. All right. So I'm going to tear off a little bit because there's a little bit too much and I want to um, take this and make it just a tiny bit wider here so that um, it looks like the red is uh, wings so I'm just going to punch this in here very quickly alright so now I have the um, the back of it the center and now I have the little wings and the next thing that you're going to want to do is just create little circles with your um, with your roving with the brown roving and you're going to just create some little circles and put those little circles just spin them around your finger and um, put them into the position of where you want the want them located and you can see how really quick that um, that gets uh, attached so you're going to put your little circles here Alright, so the next thing, um, you're going to just continue adding your little circles on here very quickly. Alright, 
And you're going to also notice that, like, as you're punching these in here, the um, the circles, the the body starts con kind of makes a concave. So you want to um, go around and reform and shape the body again. And um, you're constantly, as you're adding items to your project, you want to make sure that you're reshaping as you go. Because if you if you do a um, if you do felting on one area too much, then um, then you're really changing the shape, the original shape of your project. So you just want to be careful. Always uh, reshape it as as you're creating it. And the trick of doing the circles is to um, just use about the same use about the same amount of wool each time so that your circles are about the same size. Okay, so um, just kind of reshape again like I said and get them back into the shape that you want. And the, um, the, last, the next thing that you're going to be doing is creating the um, the little antenna. You're going to take a little bit of the wool. You're going to roll it in your hand again. And what we're doing is making uh, this little antenna right here for the little ladybug. So you're going to roll it in your hand to get started. And um, you're going to felt it. And what I do is um, I just roll it up at the end. And that kind of makes a, the little tiny um, the little little dot at the um, at the tip, and um, once you felted it, then you're just going to roll it again, and find where the center is of your little head, right at the base of the head, and then um, punch that in. Get him, get that kind of situated so he's um, the in, antenna are are even. And the very last thing that you're gonna do is um, create the little eyes for him. So we're just using the green again to create the eyes. So you're gonna just take a small little ball of the green and place the eyes where you want those. I got too much here. Just take off a tiny bit. And punch him in there. All right, and that's all there is to uh, creating a ladybug. Uh, you can always go in here and just keep on working him and getting him back into the shape, reforming, making it tighter. And, uh, but that's all there is to do in creating your own little ladybug. Hope you like this class. Thank you. Talk to you soon.